Hey friends, it has definitely been a while. I want to talk about uh, Missy in Doctor Who. I want to talk about the master becoming a woman and how that's affected the way the character is being written because I do believe that there is a substantial amount of evidence that has very much affected the way uh, we as the audience are being told to perceive the character and also just the way that she's behaving. Basically, I think Stephen Moffat is, well, a sexist pig, which all of you already knew. He deliberately made the master a woman in this case so that uh, he can do this whole turning good story arc. It wasn't like it was new information. We knew that Time Lords could regenerate into different genders. I assumed, like many, I think that Missy would keep her name. She would keep the master. What I found was interesting was that she didn't. There's that whole interaction with the Doctor where she says, oh no, I'm Missy now. She says to the Doctor, no, I'm a time lady. I'm a bit old fashioned like that. That was when I started to get worried about the master. Because I was worried that making the master a woman, and this might be silly, but I was worried that making the master a woman would mean that he would be less of a villain. Not because he is a w woman, but because a male writer has made him a woman. So for anyone watching who needs a reminder, in the most recent episode, uh, Missy and the Doctor, Bill and Nardole are all flying in the TARDIS. Uh, the Doctor is training Missy to be a better person. That is something I'm going to get to in a minute. The Doctor gets her to assume his role, which involves some very meta criticisms of the role, um, and she is told that she has to problem solve the way he does. But it culminates in Bill becoming a Cyberman, and when Missy and the Doctor go through a black hole to the other end of this ship that they've landed on, it turns out that, um, there are a bunch of Cybermen and they're being built by the previous incarnation of the Master who we all know um, is played by John Sim. The preview for the next episode shows uh, Missy uh, being forced to make a decision like will she stand with the Doctor or stand with essentially herself. So the Master is a villain. The Master has always been written as a villain despite the Doctor's constant claims that they were once friends. In, for the most part, we've always interacted with the Master, with him in the position of being a villain and the Doctor in the position of being the protagonist. They've always had an antagonist-protagonist relationship, frenemies if you will, but mostly enemies more than friends. The Doctor has always sowed the seed, even in the classic series, that the Master was once his best friend and that they were going to travel the universe together. Uh, since this episode is mostly dealing with the John Sim canon, I'm gonna more refer to that. We, we first met John Sim as the Master in Utopia, which was the third last episode of season three. And the Doctor, even then, you know, he says like, oh, I can help you, we can help each other. As we all know, it culminates in the Master basically telling the Doctor that he would rather die. He would literally rather die, like opt not to regenerate, than become the Doctor's friend again, John Sim dies at that point, he kinda comes back with the ring uh, in a very uh, shitty sort of horcruxy kind of way. But, but as we all know, he's carried off by the Time Lords. I'm sure in the next couple of episodes we will find out what has happened in between when we see him taken off by the Time Lords in the end of Time Part 2 and when he is now here with Missy because I think there's going to be a very interesting gap because something that I've always thought about is that we never saw Missy regenerate from John Sim. So I think that will be interesting to see how that gap is filled, if it is filled at all. We know that the Doctor has always wanted the Master to be his friend again. Whether that meant that he would turn good is sort of a given in the situation. The Doctor isn't going to be friends with him while he's still blowing up planets. And he still makes that point in the most recent episode. This is an, obviously a storyline that has had its seeds sown for a long ass time. What is new though is the fact that the Master is trying to be good. This was established a couple of episodes ago, I forget exactly which one, but the Doctor goes to oversee Missy's execution um, and decides, makes the decision not to execute her, but he makes the promise that he will guard the vault that she's imprisoned in, assumably for the rest of eternity. He sort of starts this project and that's really what it is, this project of trying to convert Missy 
away from her ways of evilness and this is something that has been happening this entire series. We can all acknowledge there have been multiple points in this series where she could have escaped and didn't. I don't have a problem with this story arc except for the fact that it's being done now. The idea that the master could never become good but Missy can is a really uncomfortable notion for me. We are only now seeing this emotional side to the master, this repenting side of the master where the master is regretting the people that um, he, she, they have killed, experiencing this mournfulness and this regret. That is only happening now. Successfully, it is only happening now when the master has become a woman. It's interesting because the way Stephen Moffat has set this up is he has separated Missy almost entirely from her lineage. The only thing that makes us, like, that reminds us really that she is the master is the fact that she still talks about the fact that her and the Doctor were friends when they were kids. However, the fact that she doesn't even call herself a Time Lord, she calls herself a Time Lady. She refers to herself as Missy and not the master. It's a very gendered separation, despite the fact that the Doctor and other Time Lords throughout the series have shown us that gender isn't a big deal to them. And it's very um, contradictory of Moffat to have an episode in which the Doctor states that gender doesn't mean the same thing to them as humans, and yet there's so much gender bias in the writing of Missy than there would be for the Master. The idea that John Sim could not be talked down off the ledge, could not be redeemed, but Missy somehow can, despite the fact that they are the same character, says to me that Moffat looked at it and went, I want to give the ma Master a redemption arc. And I can't do that while he is a powerful man. So I will make him an emotional woman. I loved the most recent episode. I think it's one of the best episodes I've seen in a long while. It was very well written. It was so cool. The plot twists in it were very well done. But that gender bias was so apparent to me in that episode. It was very unnerving for me to watch it and think, wow, you know, he's really doing that. He's really making the master into a good person as Missy and then pitching her against her former self, who happens to be a male, and is being implied that that was the sort of height of the master's evil as John Sim. The irony is not lost on me that Stephen Moffat is going to have a black gay companion is going to have the Doctor state how little gender means to him while in the same, the very same episode pitch essentially the same character against himself, themselves, the only difference being the gender of the character, even despite the fact that they're the same character. It is very interesting to me that he will paint Missy as this redeemable version of the Master, wherein John Sim is not, despite the fact that they are the same character. Of course, I could be speaking too soon and Missy could turn around and be uh, evil in the next episode and the episode after. I don't know though. I honestly have absolutely no idea. But what I do know for certain is that the Master was not redeemable, the Master was not able to atone, the Master was not able to attempt, to successfully attempt to become good until the Master became a woman. And that says a lot <laughs> about how Stephen Moffat perceives women. It feeds into that whole stereotype that women are these emotional, beings that are more emotional than men, that can feel remorse more than men. It feeds into this idea that men are stronger, they are less corruptible, whether that is um, um, being corrupted by goodness or badness. It is a very, very obvious gender bias. Really hoping that, you know, Missy would just be her own version of the master. And but. In this storyline, Moffat has literally pitched her against the male version of herself and in the end, 
it's going to come down to that age-old gender dynamic of, you know, who can be better. John Sim is the anomaly in this situation, um, but the way that Moffat has written Missy, she appears like the anomaly. Um, and I can already see the way audiences are reacting to John Sim's return, saying, oh, the real master is back. And I'm very scared. <laughs> I'm very scared that that was Moffat's plan the whole time, to paint Missy as this divergent anomaly who wasn't really the person that she was saying she was, and for John Sim to come back as the undefeatable, indestructible master. And... It sucks because I love Missy so much. I think she's awesome. You know, we we don't get enough female villains that are fleshed out the way Missy is. And I really don't want the cost of having a female master to come at the sacrifice of the master's entire character. And I'm very sad that Moffat obviously didn't think that Missy was worthy of being a master as formidable, as intimidating, as powerful as John Sim. And it's getting very dark, so I'm going to end this video before you guys can't see me. I am actually looking forward to the filling in the gap of how Missy regenerated from John Sim uh, into uh, who she is now. The Doctor won't be able to kill John Sim without killing Missy. Which makes me think that in the end he's probably going to end up picking Missy? But like I said, I'm very interested to see how this all plays out. And I want to thank you guys for being patient. I know a lot of you look forward to my videos. Um, I just had to take a Oh, time away from everything. I am very excited. I want to tell you guys I am adopting a kitten um, and she will be here hopefully very soon and I can't wait for you to meet her. I think I'm going to call her Blue but watch this space. She's very beautiful and I can't wait for you guys to meet her. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you think that you know Missy uh, was given a fair chance to be um, the master you think that you know the master is a gendered word i personally didn't think it was and when missy said she wanted to be known as that i thought that was very strange do, what do you think has happened please tell me in the comments thanks guys bye